Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be showing you how I made a DIY light box. I got the idea from Kelly Marissa. Um, I'll leave links to her video in the description box below. So you're gonna need basically a cardboard box and some tissue paper. The, ideally it needs to be smaller than this and square, but this was the best that I got. You're also gonna need like a, a Stanley blade or knife or things like that. So obviously please, please be careful. <laughs> we don't want any fingers chopped off because then you can't do any lovely nail designs. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is um, cut off these like flaps at the top of the box. So you just go along the line, just keep going, scoring, as you can see here, and then they come off really easily. Um, Kelly left on the one flap, but I kind of accidentally cut it off, so I ended up cutting it all off. Um, I don't really think it's that important to the outcome of it. So I'm measuring it like roughly, just so I've got a guide to follow uh, the, the like the line. Um, I mean, Kelly did it freehand just because she'd done so many. So I'm not really putting um, measurements down because obviously each box is going to be a different size. So you just want to make sure that it's like roughly the same distance. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing it. I am measuring it, but it is only roughly, if that makes sense. Um, so you want to make sure that you're not too near the edge of the sides because um, obviously it'll be too flimsy then. So I've uh, gone ahead and done it on all the sides that I'm going to cut out. So it's really, really simple to do. You just need to keep scoring over the line. You get a rough outline, then you just keep going over and over it until like eventually um, it'll just pop out. But like I say, take care because you are using a blade. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. I, I, this is literally me doing it for the first time. I've not practiced it beforehand. I just wanted to see how easy and simple it would be. Um, and it is truly simple. Uh, it has to be, otherwise I couldn't do it. <laughs> if anything's difficult, you can forget it. Okay, so you're only going to cut out the uh, sides and the top. There's no need to cut the bottom because obviously no lights are coming through. Okay, so that's one, that's two sides done. And then I'm going to do the last side or the top, whichever way the box is going to be. Okay, so real simple. Just keep cutting at it and then it will come out. Okay, so that's how you want it to be. So you want to make sure you have two sides left in. So you're just going to need some tissue paper, which, you know, this is like less than 50p, which is bargain. So I kind of folded it in half, just because I felt like it was a bit too thin, just um, uh, like, you know, putting it directly on, I did fold it in half. Okay, so I'm roughly cutting it out. Um, you can do it lined and dead neat if you want, but it's no real reason, because nobody's going to see uh, the sort of messy part of the box. This isn't something that needs to look um, really good and really professional. Okay, so you just take some sellotape and like just stick it down. Make sure that it is tight and that it's flat on the box and just sort of fold it over. Okay, so I hope you're following me and it seems re it, it is so, so simple, guys. You're going to be able to achieve it really, really well and it will make a big uh, difference to you photos lighting is an issue with me and like because I only do pictures off my phone anyway which isn't like the best thing to do photos on but it's all I've got I haven't got a snazzy camera uh, I need to kind of have something that's going to help benefit my pictures as much as possible so I'm really hoping that this light box works out okay so that's it with the tissue paper and then you just want to place some printer paper uh, on the back of the box just so obviously it's light and looks better than the cardboard box okay so you just stick it on at the bottom okay so it's real real simple and then you just need to place it obviously on the bottom of the box as well uh, although I sell tape on the top here you don't you sell a tape at the bottom like inside the box but obviously I couldn't show you on camera you wouldn't see anything so you tape it down inside okay and that's it it's done dead simple dead cheap and will make a difference okay so you've got 
these are the lamps that I use, okay, so that's my LED one, so I've turned them on and you can see there, obviously it really lights up and you can just put your hand in, pop your hand in, move it around and then, you know, you're going to have really good lighting for your picture. It doesn't matter that the box is messy inside because by the time you've zoomed in, people are not going to see it anyway. So obviously adjust the lighting as to what you think looks best. These are the results, I just took a quick shot and you can see that the lighting is much much better in the light box, it's much brighter. Uh, so there you go, I really hope that you find this uh, video helpful and um, beneficial and thank you so much for coming and checking it out. Bye! <laughs>